George's new dinosaur. George's favorite toy is Mist Dinosaur. What happened to the tail? It's missing. George likes bouncing Mr. Dinosaur in the garden, playing with him at bath time, and cuddling with him when he goes to sleep. At bedtime, Peppa says, "George, I think Mr. Dinosaur is broken because his tail is missing, right?" Uh oh. What what's tail missing? Look, Mr. Dinosaur's tail. Where is it? It's missing. What's inside the hole? Um, I guess nothing. No. George is very upset. Mummy and Daddy Pig come in to see why George is crying. Poor George says Daddy Pig. Maybe it's time you got a new dinosaur. They want to buy George a new dinosaur. The next day. Peppa, George, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig visit Mr. Fox's shop. I'm sure we will find a lovely dinosaur here, George," says Mummy Pig. "Look, George," says Daddy Pig, pointing to the shop window. "There's a big one." "Oh, dinosaur!" says George. "Wow, look at this big dinosaur." "Good morning," says Mr. Fox. "Can I help you?" We like to buy the dinosaur in the window, please," says Daddy Pig. "Good choice," says Mr. Fox. "This is Dino Roar. He talks, he walks, and he sings." "Dino Roar," says George. "We will take it," says Daddy Pig. George is playing with Dino Roar in the garden. Dino Roar sings. Dino Roar. Listen to Dino Roar! Rawr. Careful, George," says Daddy Pig. "Don't play too roughly because Dino Roar will break." They're all trying to be careful with the new toy. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. Splash, splash, splosh! Dino Roar says George. Mummy Pig says, "George, if you get Dino Roar wet." He will stop walking. It sounds a lot of、uh, your other toys too, right? Can they cannot get wet? Peppa and George are sleeping bed, but suddenly, Dino Roar comes to life. Listen to Dino Roar, Roar. George says, "Peppa, Dino Roar has waken me up. Maybe Dino Roar should sleep somewhere else." It says, "Daddy Pig, taking Dino Roar away." What's taking away? Taking away means you cannot have it、uh, in the bed. Daddy Pig is taking it away from George. George feels a little bit sad. Of course, because George wants to be with his toy dinosaurs. George is feeling sad. He cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden or the bath. Or even in bed. Don't worry, George," says, says Mummy Pig brightly. "Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, listen to Dino Roar." Dino Roar stops walking and talking completely. Uh oh. I think the batteries must have run out," says Mummy Pig. "Already? How many are there?" Daddy Pig says, as battery pull out of Dino Roar, hundreds and thousands. Cries Peppa. Look, so many batteries are coming out of Dino Roar. Uh oh. Certainly, Peppa spots something green under a bush. What's this? Says Peppa. Is it a trumpet? <gasps> you have found Mr. Dinosaur's tail. Look, this is Mr. Dinosaur's tail. Now Daddy Pig can fix him. Oh, he might be a bit difficult to fix," says Daddy Pig doubtfully. But George is happy. But the tail slips perfectly into place. Ho ho ho! Chuckles Daddy Pig. "Hello, Mr. Dinosaur," says Peppa. "Dine 
so," says George. George is so happy to have his favorite toy back. Click. Roar. The end. Peppa Pig and the Lost Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr. Dinosaur. George is playing. He tosses him up. Mr. Dinosaur comes down, up and down, up and down. And George would like to play with Mr. Dinosaur all day, but Mummy Pig is calling. Peppa, George, it's shopping day. Time to go to the market. Why? It's the shopping day. It's time for them to get their groceries, like us. The first stop is the fruit seller. Peppa tries an apple. Yum, 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 yum! She says. Mummy Pig buys a bag of apples. At the cheese store. George knows which one he wants, the stinky one. Why does George like the stinky one? I don't know. Everyone have their preference when it comes to the smell of cheese. Daddy Pig sniffs the cheese. Oh my! He says the cheese is too stinky for Daddy Pig. There are so many choices at the fish stall. It's hard to decide what to get. So mummy pig buys one of each. So many fish. Peppa and her family get to Mr. Fox's stall just in time. It's raining. He has an um umbrella for everyone. Time to go home, says Daddy Pig. Let's play, says Peppa. Yay, says George. Dinosaur. He looks around. Dinosaur, dinosaur! George starts to cry. Oh no! Says Daddy Pig. Mr. Dinosaur is lost. Uh oh! Look, George is so sad. All the tears are coming out. Is it from his eyes? That yeah, sure. Why、yes. does he has his eyes closed while crying? Because you know, like when you cry, like your eyes gets really small because all the tears needs to come out. I'm good at finding things," says Peppa. "I will find him." Peppa looks all around. Maybe Mr. Dinosaur is in the bathtub," she says. "But Mr. Dinosaur isn't in the bathtub." "I will look in George's bed," she says. "But Mr. Dinosaur isn't in George's bed either." "Maybe George dropped Mr. Dinosaur at the market," says Daddy Pig. "Let's go to the police station and see if Officer Panda and Officer Squirrel can help." "Let's check." Officer Panda and Officer Squirrel ask George many questions. Please tell us everything you can about your dinosaur," says Officer Panda. "Use as many words as you like." Dinosaur," says George. That's all George knows. There are many, many lost things at the station. Wow! Look at how many things are on the shelf. They all have a tag on them, describing what they are. Have a tag on them. So the tags will describe、um, what the things are, and then give the things an ID. They have lots of different dinosaurs. There is a purple one, a red one, a blue one, but they don't have Mr. Dinosaur. Oh, it's so sad. In the car, George is sad, but then he remembers something. Back at home, George runs to the yard, and everyone follows. And they looked all around. Ah,、oh, where's Mr. Dinosaur? Then something falls from the tree, and bonk, hits Daddy Pig on the head. What was that? Says Daddy Pig. Mr. Dinosaur says Peppa. Dinosaur says George. D and dinosaur party. Peppa and George are in for a fun surprise at Granny and Grandpa's house today. Granny Pig is dressed like a dinosaur. Granny, why are you dressed as a dinosaur? asks Peppa. I'm not just any dinosaur, says Granny. 
I'm a Tyrannosaurus. Dino fact, the Tyrannosaurus is also called a T-Rex. The T-Rex had a large head and small arms. Granny Pig and her friends are going to have a dinosaur party. Granny has even made costumes for Peppa and George to join in the fun. Peppa, you are an Allosaurus, Granny says. And George, you are a Stegosaurus. Grrr, Peppa and George growl together. Dino fact, the Allosaurus looked like the T-Rex but was much smaller. The Stegosaurus had large kite-shaped plates all along its back and tail. Granny's friends begin to arrive in their dinosaur costumes. Granddad Dog drives up in his truck. He is a Triceratops. Triceratops had three horns on its head. On the back of Granddad Dog's truck, there is a large dinosaur with a long neck. Who could that be? Peppa wonders. It's Granny Sheep and Granny Wolf. We are an Apatosaurus, Granny Sheep says. The Apatosaurus used its long neck to reach all the way up into the trees for its food. Follow me, says Granny Pig. I have a surprise for everyone in the garden. Granny Pig has turned her garden into a dinosaur paradise. Wow, Granddad Dog says. It looks just like it did when the dinosaurs lived on Earth a long, long time ago. It is perfect for everyone to stomp and roar. Soon the dinosaurs take a break to have some tea. Grampy Rabbit arrives just in time to join them. Who are you dressed as? Peppa asks. I am a caveman. Grampy Rabbit says, Dinosaurs and humans do not live at quite the same time, but it is still fun to yell like a caveman. He pounds his chest and yells, Allah! Suddenly, the ground begins to shake. It rattles everyone's teacups. Thump, thump. It's Miss Rabbit, operating a huge robot dragon. A dragon is not a dinosaur, but you can still stomp around and make lots of noise, Miss Rabbit, says Granny Pig. Once again, the garden fills with everyone's roars and grrrrs. This party is missing something, Miss Rabbit says a few minutes later. An asteroid. Dino fact, an asteroid is a huge ball of rock flying through space. The dinosaurs died out 66 million years ago when an asteroid hit Earth. Just then, Mr. Fox drives up. He has all sorts of things in his truck. He even has a toy dinosaur. But what they really need is an asteroid. An asteroid is just like a big ball, Peppa explains. Very big, Granny says. I've got just the thing, says Mr. Fox. It's a beach ball. And not just any beach ball, it is the biggest beach ball Pepper has ever seen. This is a perfect pretend asteroid, Pepper says. Everyone bounces back and forth as they stomp and roar and growl. But Granny's dinosaur party is still missing just one thing. Music! Now all the dinosaurs can dance together this is the death best dinosaur party ever, says Pepper. Cool. The end.